I see you riding round town with the girl I love And I'm like, F you I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough And I'm like, F you and F her too Cause if I was richer, I'd still be with her Well ain't that some sh 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 Ain't that some sh 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 Although there's pain in my chest, I still miss you the best And I'm like, F you Ooh, ooh, ooh Baby, baby, <laughs> why you wanna wanna treat me so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad? I bet you when I stopped the first time, people were like, oh, thank God. Man, guys, I don't know if you know this, but if you double tap the screen, you can fast forward my amazing, my amazing, perfectly on key and in tune singing, just so you know. Double tap, little double tap. Not the bad kind, the good kind. Fast forward, bad singing, double tap. Not the double tap. They did to the people of OKC. <gasps> anyway. So I'm listening to NPR. Government sanctioned radio. And every time I turn it on, it's just one snowflake after another. One leftist after another. And when I say leftist people, I'm talking about Republicans and Democrats. That's what I'm talking about when I say leftists. It's hilarious when we're, when people who associate themselves with, with the Republican Party call me a leftist snowflake. Uh, if you're a Republican and you're calling somebody else a leftist, you better look in the mirror, dude. You guys all support the same things. Unconstitutional wars, unconstitutional police force, unconstitutional IRS, unconstitutional everything. Traffic codes, victimless crimes, seatbelt laws, uh, prohibition on plants on and 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 on on and on and on both parties you know we've had only them two parties all this time and what's changed it's only gotten worse it's only gotten less and less freedom in this country not more so what did i turn the camera on for oh yeah because i'm listening to the left the snowflakes the republicans and democrats on the radio um and they're all talking about this election fraud, election tampering, election this, election that, because their leftist didn't make it in the office or whatever, or their leftist did, because they're both leftists. Let's 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 be straight about Republicans and Democrats are leftists. It's just the only difference is Republicans are like leftist light, and then Democrats are extreme leftists. They really hate the Constitution, and then Republicans just choose which parts of the Constitution they like, and they, and they hang their hat on. The Second Amendment. So, um, what was I getting at? Oh, yeah, voter election problems. Every election there's fraud. I don't care who says what. Every election there's some type of fraud going on. There's people working in the background to do something to help their guy, their leftist, win. So, I just went and bought a coin to make a ring out of, and I'm talking to my guy who sells me the silver. He's an amazing person, by the way. And I'm like, you know what kills me, sir, is that American Idol can come up with voting results in two seconds, right? But for some reason, we can't get an election right in this day and age. So I said to him, if they really wanted true elections and true voting and true everything else, they the government will grab, let me stop here government would grab three people with a brain in their head like smart people with know how to make applications for phones and computers and they would create a general election app or an app for all the voting uh you create an app you make it secure you have to sign in with a username password and whatever other cryptic and cryptic uh and uh what's the what's the word not cryptic inscripted uh encrypted with encrypted data blah 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 completely safe completely secure you got to sign in to your account to vote and you can do it from your phone and the accuracy is astoundingly better than the way than the system they have now that's so dated and ridiculous uh but i'll tell you what i don't think that politicians want 
many people to vote. They just want the people they can influence to their side. Imagine how many more people would vote if they could just get on their phone and click a few check marks and then click submit and then log out of their account. And the only thing I can see that anybody would say is, well, some people don't have phones, John. Okay, you can, here's the, here's the solution. You can use someone else's phone and sign into your account through their app. You don't have to be app specific to a person. They'll each have their own account. Okay. S secondly, um, you could go to a public library and use their internet, which is usually high speed internet at the libraries now. They're going to build a trampoline park here. It was supposed to be open in August. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait to break their trampolines with my fat, giant glutamus maximus. All right, there's my rant. If they really wanted secure voting in this country, they could do it. They could they could have a couple geniuses work that out in probably two, three weeks. Have a, a smooth run on application. Do a, f a few test runs and fake, you know, staged elections. Not in real life, but they could pretend like X amount of people voted through the app. See how it runs. See how it registers. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Must I go on? They don't want people voting. They don't want more and more people voting because of the regular person, a guy like me, oh, I already vote, but a guy who doesn't normally vote could just grab his phone and stop voting for these two parties. That scares them to death. Let me tell you, 1993, I turned 18, I believe. And the first person I ever voted for was Ross Perot. That year, Ross Perot got one out of every five votes that were cast for the president. Uh, that let me tell you, people, that was the last time a third party was ever allowed to debate in the presidential election, ever. That's not a coincidence. The Women League of Voters ran the debates in 1993. They were fair. They let a third guy in. Uh, when he got 20% of the vote, they lost their mind. And then the Republicans and Democrats took over the debates. And you haven't seen any third party contender ever since. That's not a coincidence, people. Elections are rigged in one way or another always. And if you're letting uh, so certain people control the debates and control the boosts and control the counting, it can all be done by computer now, people. So there's no excuse. None of this should be happening. Stop falling for the nonsense. Am I done ranting now? I sure hope so. Anyway, go to johnscoinrings.com. Get your significant other a nice coin ring for christmas they would like it or hanukkah or kwanzaa or chanukah nuka chanukah nuka my <laughs> i probably shouldn't tell this but i think the story is hilarious she asked me what kwanzaa was one time and just off the top of my head i'm like oh that's when black people go to the park and play basketball and listen to 90s music and she's like no -uh. and i and i kept a straight face for like three minutes but the only reason I did that is because one time when we first started dating, I always asked her what I were talking about, a shirt, and it was polyester. I'm like, why do they call it polyester? And right away, she busts out with the story. Well, there was the polys and there was the esters, and they fought. Well, the, the polys made shirts and the esters made pants, and it was a big squabble for a long time. And then um, finally, they, they buried the hatchet, and... Uh, and and what anyway i bought a hook line sinker and then she's like fooled you fooled you and i'm like all right just wait till you ask me about kwanzaa anyway please like <laughs> like subscribe uh click the thumbs up click the bell join if you want to join buy a coin ring i love you no victim no crime I see you riding around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, forget you.